right, so I got this AEM installed now on the GTR, and I love this thing. So, uh, you know, a lot of people know with the R34 GTR, you know, you have the nice little screen here that they came with the car and all that stuff. But with the R32 GTR, which this is a R32 GTR, we didn't have a fancy screen right there. So, you know, because of that, you know, we don't, we can't, we don't really know what's all going on with the car. I mean, they do have this little thing right here which you know you can see just a few little stuff but i mean it's not like it's not great you know but um it's aftermarket right here <laughs> but uh yeah i wanted a little screen there so i could know you know all the data with the car what's going on so um you know it lets me see a lot of great stuff so you can switch screens it's really really customizable which is really cool and that's what i like about it i haven't personally customized it or customized it to my own spec yet um the guy um that uh, uh, customized it. He kind of put it to where he thought it would work really well. Um, his name is Pablo from uh, Original Auto. Great guy over there in LA. But anyways, he, he put it to what he wanted. So this is just one of the screens right here that you're looking at right here. So this is, um, you know, this screen right here, you can see the tachometer, you can see AFR, you can see boost, which is nice. Um, you know, because I, I had this little gritty thing over here, but uh, that one reads like KPA and um, a bar and all that stuff. And I'm not a bar reader. I like to read my PSI. So uh, anyways, you look at the tachometer here and you can click this little button right here on the left. Boom, and you can switch screens. And like this is the next screen right here. So it's another tachometer, but it has a few other little items on it. So you can see water temperature right there. You can see uh, AFR again right there. Um, you can read boost again and you can read oil pressure. Now, obviously oil pressure is not <laughs> at that level right now it's higher than that um we don't have it connected uh to this yet so it's not going to read oil pressure so don't get all scared because you don't see any oil pressure also it shows what gears that i have selected and stuff this is not a six speed it's a five speed so only go up to five and um the mile per hour thing speedometer is not completely set up right i think we're about eight mile per hour off we just got to adjust that one more time and then um you can click the side again and switch to the next screen. This is another tachometer and a few other little readings. You can see AFR on the right. And look, it like draws this little trace. Look at that. That's crazy. You can read boost, all that stuff in PSI. And actually, I'm sorry. So this is not a tachometer. This is just boost only. If I wanted to read boost only, sorry. I saw the round thing and thought tachometer. I'm like, wait, hold on. I can't go to 30,000 RPM. <laughs> but uh, anyways, click the screen, uh, click the left side of the screen again. And you can see the next part right here i love this screen the most this is actually what i keep it on the most so um where you know at the top you can read boost you can read throttle percentage you can read injector duty cycle you can read oil pressure um water temperature intake temp uh speeds uh afr and ethanol ethanol look at that so right now i'm at 63 percent ethanol i'm not at 85 i'm at 63 when we tune this car we actually tuned it at 51 percent so i like to keep it right above that um we got the e85 sensor in here so we can sense how much level of ethanol I have in here and adjust the tune accordingly so you know I'm not too worried about it but I love this screen right here because it really gives me all the real real data that I need and I can customize it more I can add stuff take stuff out do all that I'll play around with it eventually one day but really it's kind of wanted to show you and obviously the whole time you can hear the car sounding extra lovely <laughs> I love this so we have a cutout now installed on this thing and the cutout uh, it just really made this thing sound like a monster you can really hear the turbos and that's just me barely touching the gas i mean this thing sounds so freaking good just a nice monstrous godzilla type sound it sounds great i think i should i think i should light this thing up for you really let you hear it hear the two-step on it hear what it sounds like <laughs> 